guys, so today's video is going to be a current favorites video because it's been a while since I did a monthly favorites, so I figured it was time to do stuff like that. So I have all my stuff in this little pouch here, um, and let's just go through it. So the first thing I have is, it's by Neutrogena, it's basically just sunscreen. Um, I took this with me when I went to Saudi Arabia a couple months ago, right? January I went, I think, or December, one of those. Um, and it's just, it doesn't break me out, it absorbs really quickly, and now that the summer is coming around, you do need your sunscreen. So that is a must-have. Uh, the second thing that I have been loving, it's kind of a combo that I've been loving. So I've been using my IT Cosmetics CC Cream, and then on top of that, I use my IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact. Um, and then on top of that, I use my e.l.f. Finishing Powder, and it is... I think it's called like the Flawless Finish Face Powder. Um, it's available at Target and I've already met, made a dent in it. And it's only six bucks. So the combination of these three together really makes my skin look super flawless. Um, I think it has a lot to do with the confidence in a compact. Uh, it's like, it's not a cushion foundation. It's like a serum based thing. Like it's not cushion, it's a cream. I don't want to touch it because my hands are gross. Um, but yeah, I've really been loving this combo. I've actually been putting this on top of a lot of my other foundations as well, as well as this also, um, and it's just making my skin look really, really good. The next foundation-y type product I have is this Tarte, oh, what is it called? Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. I'm in the shade Fair Light Neutral. No, I'm not. This is kind of light for me. But again, if I use this and then I put this over it, it works really well. And I really like this because it has... A little sifter so it's not like most powder foundations where all of it just falls out you kind of push your brush in and the powder comes up through like the net um, and yeah I've really been liking this I forgot how much I liked it just because I wasn't this shade for a while so I stopped using it but now that I've been using this and then this perfection um, I've also been loving this powder it's basically empty um, it's the tiny one it's the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder I like this more than the Secret Brightening Powder. I feel like the Secret Brightening Powder kind of cakes up under my eyes, whereas this does not. This also does a really good job um, in controlling my oils. The next thing, I have this Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I really like this, but not just that. I've been enjoying putting my concealer on with a flat foundation brush. So any concealer that I've been using, I just tap it out with my foundation brush. I'm kind of over like using a sponge. I don't know why. I guess I'm just lazy because the majority of the time I'm getting ready in a rush and I don't always have time to go to the sink and like squeeze the sponge a bunch of times and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just a typical flat foundation brush. It's from Eco Tools. I usually use foundation brushes for my masks or I put them in the drawer of stuff I don't use. So yeah, I've really been liking that. Two blushes, um, just the formula in general, these Wet n Wild blushes, uh, the new formula, came out about a year ago. I have the shade Apricot in the middle and Rosé Champagne. I love these, they're like $3.99-ish. They're awesome. They both kind of have a little shimmer in it, but I don't mind it. It kind of um, gives some color to my skin and it, you can't go overload with these, like they won't make you look like clown face. All right. Um, let's see, a couple of brushes. I've really been enjoying this e.l.f. pointed foundation brush. Nope, pointed powder brush. Um, and I use it with this guy right here. And it really works. I feel like this is a dupe for that Kat Von D brush. Um, at least it looks similar. I don't own it because I'm not about to pay that much for a brush. Um, and again, this is six bucks. So just get this dynamic duo, six and six, 12 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that, to be honest. And then another brush that I really like, um, if you're in need of a pencil brush for like smudging your lower lash line shadow situation happening, I've been liking this Morphe E36. Looks like that. Amazing. Um, and then also this. Um, it is the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner. I don't notice any plumpingness to it, but it has the pencil on the side and then a brush. I've never used the brush, but like this is awesome. And the shade I have it in is Hush Hush. I use it as like a lipstick and I usually put a gloss over it. But you don't need a gloss. It's super long wearing, super easy to wear. I love it. 
The next thing is a fairly new eyeshadow palette, but I've just been using it so much. Like, usually I try to use my eyeshadow palettes like twice, and then I put it away and bust out another one just because I have so many that need some love. But this is the Too Faced Natural Love palette. I don't know if it's limited edition or not. I kind of like it more because it has bunnies on it. Um, let me show you what the inside of this looks like. It's your basic neutral palette, but I mean... Who doesn't love neutrals? The only complaint I have about this is that it doesn't have enough matte deeper shades. I just have this guy right here as my matte shade and then this one right here. I wish it had a couple more tones of deeper shades so I could deeper up, deeper, deepen up my outer corner and more in the crease also. But other than that, I've really been liking this palette. Um, along with the bunny theme, I created this mug. Um, and it says, somebody needs to wash my brushes, and that's Casper, my little bunny guy. Um, and I am selling these, I'll leave the link down below, but all of the profitable proceeds go to Red Door Animal Shelter um, in Chicago, which is a no-kill shelter that rescues bunnies, cats, and dogs, and all of like the other animals that other shelters won't take. Um, it's a re really amazing place, really amazing cause. I also have shirts and stuff like that, I'll leave the link down below if you're interested. It comes in a couple other colors. I would really appreciate it if you supported the cause. I'm not taking any of the money for myself. It's all going to the shelter. Um, so yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. And then a couple dislikes. Kind of bummed about it. I was super excited that LA Girl was at Ulta. I got these. They suck. This one, for one, like, the shade range is complete crap. It took me, like, four times to get my shade. This is not my shade, but I wore it anyways. And it, it like, disappeared. And then this foundation, no, not mm -mm, this concealer, it like made my under eyes look like I was 70 years old. Like it gave me like lines and cracks and like dry patches. So both of these are going back. I don't care if they were only like six and seven bucks. I work hard for my money. So these both are going back. Ugh. I hope I didn't break that. No, I didn't. But yeah, that completes my video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, I will see you in my next one. Bye!